What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and I'm back with another reaction, man. And we are here to react to Code Geass. Episode 19 is here. Lelouch of the Rebellion is carrying on, and we are here just trying to divulge this greatness of an anime. You know what I'm saying? Um, so in the last episode was a very, very dope episode. I can't wait to dive into this one to see what what went down. It seems like Lelouch has used the Gias on Suzaku, so I want to see what the res what's the result of that going to be. Um, it seems like that that's what happened. Um, <laughs> there was some really dope things that happened in that episode because they they um their goal was to capture Suzaku and the Lancelot, but that turned out to be a total fail because for Suzaku got a hold of Lelouch, threw, threw him in the freaking Lancelot and was holding him hostage. They're trying to drop nukes. And then so this dude, which I think is um Cornelia's brother or something, came in this big ass spaceship trying to, and, and, you know what I'm saying? And and shooting, out, shooting down at him. So I don't know what's going to happen now because they sent a bunch of missiles over there um wait a minute didn't the guy the guy was shooting down the missiles right i think i'm not sure i, I don't remember exactly what happened but i guess we're gonna see once we dive into this episode man so let's go dive into this episode because i'm so excited to see this and then i will do a thorough review after we finish okay so let's jump into this man go ahead click that link in the description man i'm gonna try to keep these intros as short as possible and then i can just talk forever for the reviews if you go back and watch the reviews okay hope you guys watch the reviews of course okay so thank you guys for watching as always man go click that link get into google drive and get it popping okay thank you guys for watching all right guys welcome back and we are here to review episode 19 of code Gias, man lelouch of the rebellion this episode was okie doke okie doke okie doke you know what i'm saying it's just like you see one thing and you're thinking one thing and then another thing happens and you're like what the hell is going on here you know but all was revealed at the end of what really was going on i mean the episode started off because from the last episode we saw well we didn't see anything it was more of like you know what i'm saying how it ended it was like we wanted to know what happened you know with you know mr um god damn, i forgot to do his name already um big it's nice it's nice it's nice little whatever his name is man you you guys know who i'm talking about big bro youth is big bro cornelius big bro showed up prince at least he's not as arrogant as clovis right so pretty cool pretty cool dude so far i like his character um, I like his character, um, but I don't know what he's up to yet, but I like the introduction, right? Um, so they were trying to find out what happened. I still don't know what the hell happened, how they got on the island. I don't know. I don't know if it's, if it's, um, because he used the thing on, I have no clue. Like, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell they end up on an island. Like, how the hell they end up on an island? Was there an explosion that blew them away that far? I have no idea how they ended up on an island. Um, but first surprise of the episode was freaking Yuffie, knowing that it that it's Lelouch, is, knowing that Lelouch is zero. Um, he took off the mask, and I was like, how to i mean i guess she had some sort of clue because she did explain she was like she knew from the first encounter from the incident at the hotel right she knew she knew it was she kind of had an inclination that it was him so he took the mask off revealed himself they had their happy times whatever um suzaku over here titted titties in his face and he's like oh i'm gonna arrest you anyways i mean 
Can you find another guy that's that dedicated to a to a cause to arrest a naked woman? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this guy out here, he's not making me proud. <laughs> just be honest. He, he's just not making me proud. He's a badass character, but in situations like those, usually in anime, you're getting a nosebleeds or blush face. You know what I'm saying? Like something, but Suzaku, nothing. Straight face nada <laughs> you know what i'm saying is nothing at all no expression of interest <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like cover up yourself nothing not even say cover up yourself i mean she didn't give a shit if she was covered it she jumped she jumped at him with a knife titties hanging everything hanging out so <laughs> so i mean but cool episode though. Definitely could not have put this on YouTube if I could. I would have had to cut that part out. So it's gonna Google Drive, so it's straight up. It's whatever. Um so man, this episode had a lot of lot of things to it. Got introduced to Snishno or whatever his name is. I can't pronounce his name properly. Shisnell Snitzel 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 or whatever his name is. <laughs> I don't know. Um yeah, but it was a pretty good episode, man. We'll see if I'm leaving anything out. Okay. Um them being saved, they're underwater. Um Cece was about to go off on that one dude, which is like I, I was like, This nigga don't even know who he's talking to right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> he don't know who he's talking to. So um Cece was about to put put him to bed. Zizi was about to put him to bed, man. Would she probably would have just looked at him and he would have just fell out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So that would have been that would have been crazy. Um but thank God dude interjected and um uh, came up with a plan. Um cuz Cece's trying to tell him that Lelouch is alive, but at the end of that scene, she was communicating with somebody. It seems like she was talking to Lelouch. Do they have um can they talk to each other like telepaths because he has the gears? Maybe. I don't know who she was talking to because there was nobody else around her. And I, I can't think of anybody else that she could be talking to um, at that point because maybe that's how she knows that he's alive. Um, Kuroragi, um, I mean, Suzaku on the island um, with Kalen. They enjoyed themselves, whatever, ate. And then dude showed. And then this big ass... Gia sign shows up under them and then they ended up in the cave and I'm like I'm still so confused about that whole sequence because I'm like how did they end up there was it I mean they were on did, did was it an explosion and it brought them down there because there was this ancient like this um like matrix sign or whatever you call that thing there. So I don't, I, I'm a little confused on that. Hopefully they explain it a little bit more in the next episode so we can understand what really happened there. How did they end up on the island? But we know for sure now that the Gias was used on Suzaku and basically all Lelouch tell him to do is live. So he saved himself and that's why he got arrested on the spot. Um, so I don't know how he's going to get out of that this time because Suzaku just, dude, you just need to go fight for the other side, man. <laughs> Let's just be honest. These niggas, they don't give a shit about you. They, I mean, no matter how many times you're going to save this princess life, no matter what you do, because he's like, that's not, doesn't sound like something I would do. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, Suzaku was there and he was willing to die and take out Zero with him. So... It was kind of strange that he would do that. Of course, we know it's because of the Gias, why he did what he did. But at the same time, it was so strange to have, it was strange to him. It was like, I said that? No way. You know what I mean? So that was pretty revealing. But now we get to understand why they arrested him. Because I was like, why are they arresting him? They, they said, they didn't say what he did, but they were, they quoted some stupid ass code and arrested him and Yuffie was there and and basically Miss Snitzel or whatever his name is um 
basically said said to to her just let them do what they're doing we'll we'll deal with this later um so but japan is on the way baby japan is on the way where did they get so much troops is 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 that who they were waiting on on the water for man so many things are happening right now i know it's coming close to the end of the season so you know everything is kind of ramping up the pace of the show is kind of you know what i'm saying is getting going because they know they got about what now four or five episodes left so it's ramping up now to get to the conclusion of the season um so i'm definitely looking forward to it man this episode was straight fire even though it okie doke me so many times you know what i'm saying miss um uh miss misdirect is a really good way to get people involved in tv shows in anime in whatever it is you know what i'm saying because when things catch you by surprise it's just like when um it's just like when i love to use naruto as an example because it was one of the best written stories that I've seen in anime, even though they fucked up the ending. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't like the fact that they brought Kaguya back. I don't think, I think that's a majority statement that didn't like that they brought Kaguya back. I enjoyed it for what it is. Love to see it. Love to see her back. But at the same time, I think they could have done a better job of ending the story. I think the story should have ended with Madara. Uh, but the best surprise... Of, I, I remember the first time Naruto threw the Rasa and Shuriken. That shit blew me away. Because I was seeing it in the manga. Because I was seeing it in the manga and I was like, oh, what? I was like, I was blown away by it. Because I was like, um, Sage Mode is allowing, him to, is allowing him to do this off course. And for him to be able to throw freaking Chakra, that's ridiculous ridiculous bro I, I i mean before then who else you saw throwing chakra around like it was you know what i'm saying it's pure chakra that's all he's doing he's throwing chakra at people bro nobody is out here throwing chakra at people you know what i'm saying you can that's it blow the fire you know what i'm saying and and you know what i'm saying with the fireball and stuff like that but pure chakra bro pure chakra a rasengan is literally pure chakra <laughs> it is pure chakra you know what i'm saying so it's like nothing added to it um you don't need to weave signs for the Ras rasengan um it's basically just pulling chakra out of your body to make a sphere so that was pretty dope to see man it's just pure chakra from your body he's throwing man that blew me away because i was like um it, it, it just did. And that's what I'm saying. Being surprised like that in anime. Get that holy shit moment. Is what you live for. In anything that you watch. When it comes on to entertainment. And a continuous episodic thing. You know what I'm saying. So I love that factor. In this anime they really really surprised. There was a couple of surprises. In this episode. Which I really loved. So, thank you guys for watching, man. As always, you guys have been wonderful supporting these videos. Just remember to leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this episode the first time you watched it. Be highly appreciated, man. I always look at my comments. Remember, guys, we're over on the Discord. If you ever get a chance to join us on the Discord, come over there. Join us on the Discord. You get live updates. And also, um, you get live updates and you also... Get live notifications of when videos drop on YouTube. I post them in the Discord in the announcement channel. So you know that they're there. So if you don't get a notification from YouTube. Okay. If you don't get a notification from YouTube that the video is up and ready to go. It's already on the announcement channel on the Discord. Okay. So make sure link is down in the description to the Discord channel. If you have not watched this episode yet, just watching the review, make sure you go and check the reaction out if you want. Um but hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of this episode, man. It's it's a wonderful ride so far watching Code Geass, man. I still have my Ippo Super reaction to record. So I'm out. So thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.